Top H0 moins une minute. We are one minute to launch. We are live at the Guiana Space Center and we are launching Sentinel 2B for the European Space Agency, the European Commission, built by Airbus Defence and Space. Good luck to all the teams and uh, also everybody watching us at the Satellite 2017 trade show in Washington. Our very best wishes to everybody. Let's watch the launch. A tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. Dix, neuf, huit, sept, six, cinq, quatre, trois, deux, unité, top, allumage P80 et décollage. Paramètres à bord normaux. And we're off Sentinel 2B is on its way. Look at Vega. Les paramètres à bord sont Blazing. normaux, la trajectoire est nominale. Blazing a trail across the equatorial skies over the Guiana Space Center, heading north out over the Atlantic. We're just getting the rumble, the sound, if you like, of the launcher here at the Mission Control Center. The job of the first three stages is to get us away from the Earth. Vega's pushing itself away from gravity. And we're burning the first stage. It's called the P-80. That's because 80 is standing for the amount of propellant, 89 tonnes, in fact. On the bottom left, you can see our altitude is 35 kilometres above Earth. And in the middle, our distance from the pad. That's actually the distance if you were to draw a straight line from the pad to the position of the launcher along the Earth. And then on the bottom right, you can see is our speed. We're traveling uh, nearly two kilometers per second, not per hour, but per second. Acquisition de la télévision lanceur par la, sta par la station de Saint-Jean. Séparation P80. We've separated. Allumage du Zephyro 23. Separated the P-80 and lit the engine now on the Z-23. And joining me in the commentary box here is Guido Levrini. Guido is the Copernicus Space Program, Space Segment Program Manager for ESA. That means that uh, he oversees all the Sentinel satellites. So it's great to have you with us. Thank you very much indeed, Guido. Thank you for having me. Um, uh, Guido, you also know quite a bit about Vega. And uh, although it was developed by ESA, it actually started out as an Italian project, didn't it? Uh, not quite, not that completely. Vega grew out of a joint cooperation between the US and Italy back in the 70s. It was a project called Scout. It was launching from uh, a base off the coast of uh, Kenya, near the equator. And at a certain point in time, in 1992, the US withdrew Parce from this cooperation and Italian continued uh, alone uh, on a new program called Zephyro. And Zephyro in Italian is the name of a wind. And it was based on the carbon fiber technology. And Vega, which in Italian stands for Vettore Europeo di Generazione Avanzata, or Advanced Generation European Vehicle, is a launcher developed by the European Space Agency. So it's an ESA project, but you're right, the prime contractor is Italian, is ELV, which is a joint venture between the Italian Space Agency and Avio, who is a company based in the south of Rome. And right now we are flying like the wind, burning the Z for Zephyro. Second stage, and now about to switch on the Z. Nine, Zephyro Nine. I, my pronunciation is probably a bit wrong. I think it's Zephyro in Italian. Zephyro. And the next phase, 
separation of the fairing, which we don't need anymore because we are 131 kilometers above our planet and we don't need it because there's hardly any friction. Vega's going from strength to strength. Let's hear from the CEO of Avio. 